Hi, this project is a demonstration of auditory booking system. Auditory booking system includes all the features and functions needed to efficiently manage an auditorium. It includes an administrator account which is used to control all the system functionality. The system keeps track of auditorium advance booking. The system keeps records of auditorium bookings along with associated event details and customer contacts in a well-maintained database. Admin can easily check the auditorium booking details and the timings. Let's see how the system works. There are two logins, one is the admin and the user. User will log into the system. Let's see the user module. User will log into the system using his user ID and password. If the user is a new member, he will register himself by clicking onto the sign in button. He will be redirected to the registration page where he will get a user ID. This ID is automatically generated by the system and this ID is unique. He will pull up the following details and will click on to the submit button. These details will be stored in the database. So user will use the user ID and the password in order to log into the system. So I had already registered myself so I will use the user ID and the password now to access the system. Once the user logins to the system, these are the various options you can access through. Let's see the booking module. Here you can view various auditorium details. The transaction ID is automatically generated by the system and the auditorium ID is listed over here. You can select according to his preference. The total cost and the seats is displayed by the system itself. He must select the date and the event name. If he directly clicks onto the search button, he will get an error message to select the date. So he must select the date and he must also specify the event name. Once he clicks the search button, he will he can view various time slots. Each time slot is of 3 hours. If the event extends more than 3 hours, you can select more than one time slot. So if he clicks the following time slot, so it will turn to green color. If his event extends more than one time slot, you can select another time slot. If I am selecting this time slot also. These three buttons will be turned to green. If I want to deselect any one of them, I can do so. Like if I want to deselect this one, 4 pm to 7 pm. So this will turn to normal color if I deselect this button, this time slot. Once the user clicks on to the book button, these details will be sent to the admin. If the user select the same auditorium ID, specifies the same date event name he can specify any event name so once he clicks on to the search button he can see that this two time slots is already booked so we can't select these two time slots and this color it will be turned to red color which are already booked by another user so we can select other time slots according to his preference. Let's see the view booking module. Here the user can view various booking he had made before. Let's see the personal details module. Here he can view his personal detail as well as he can update his old password by specifying the old password as well as the new password. This is how the user module works. Let's see the admin module. Admin will log into the system using his ID and the password. Let's enter the ID and password. Once the admin logins to the system, these are the features you can access through. Let's see the add auditorium details. Here you can add new auditorium details. The ID is automatically generated by the system. You can pull up the following details and once you click the add button, these details will be added to the database. Let's see view auditorium booking details. Here the admin can view various booking made by the user and admin can view also the details of the user for you can use this personal details of the user for further discussion. This is how auditorium booking system works. Thank you.